Okay guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here as a follow-up to the other one just to show you in case you don't have Microsoft Office and you don't have any way of, you know, you don't have a friend who has a computer you can borrow or anything like that. And you just want to create your graph. This way isn't as involved as the other one. It's just the real basic, uh, basically what Rex was showing in his video of how you can generate the graph. Um, so uh to do this you will need a google account um i'm not an expert in this but i think if you have a youtube account you already have a google account but uh i i don't know if that's 100 percent true so the way that you'll know for sure if you have a google account is if you go to gmail.com and you can log in there with your youtube login or if you know you have a gmail account you know then you have a google account for sure uh, if you're not sure or you try that and it doesn't work, then just go to Gmail and just sign up. You know, it's free, it's pretty easy, and you'll need it if you want to do it this way. So, uh, basically, all you got to do is go to part 59 of the series, and the download link is right in the description there. You just click that and save it to your hard drive. You save the file there. And, uh,. And then what you want to do is you can just go to Google or you can log into Gmail or whatever. And uh, if when you're logged into Gmail or really any of the uh, Google pages, you should see this gray bar at the top. You know, so you can go to YouTube, you can go to News, you can go to Gmail. You want to go to Google Drive. And it's in this page, you're going to actually upload it using this upload button. And then you'll see it show up here as one of the files that you've uploaded. And uh, if you've never uploaded it before, you've never used Drive, you won't see this green icon here. Now this is the important part. You have to actually uh, convert the file into a form that Google Drive can understand. And all you need to do is you'll need to click on this gear in the right, the settings button, and go to upload settings and click on convert uploaded files to Google Docs format and you want to have this checkbox right next to it now the important thing about this is convert uploaded files so the setting only takes effect to files that are uploaded after you have set this so and I, and I don't think that the setting actually shows up until you upload something so you'll have to upload the file go to the settings check this box and then just check the box next to the file and delete it with the little trash can and then just upload it again and when you do that the second time then it'll say you know over on the right that it's uploading it and then when it's done uploading it'll actually say converting and then when that's done then you'll get this icon this little green icon showing you that it is an excel file or it's a spreadsheet file rather and that google drive can actually use it and then uh, all you gotta do is click on the file and it'll open up basically like it looks in Excel I mean it's it's different you know I mean don't get me wrong it's not exactly the same thing and you cannot do all the other stuff that I was showing in the other video like I said so it's not quite the same thing but you will be able to do everything that Rex was talking about so you can go to sheet one and you can put in a value here like I've done and it does work and then you got the tabs at the bottom, just like in the Excel sheet. You just click on chart one, and then you've got your curve. So you, at the very least, for free, you can upload this file. You can put in your 70-degree value, and then you'll have your chart, and you can print this out from here. You know, just like with anything else, just go to File and uh, Print it's there at the bottom. And then you can print it, and then at least at least you have the graph and you can mark your shots on it after so so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope that's useful take it easy